Okay, you found out that uh, FXS has some problems with some add-on aircraft or some uh, downloadable aircraft that kept crashing all the time, but also wouldn't render them correctly. So what I decided to do was uh, check it out. Now, my other videos talk about uh, settings. This is set up to load a default flight, which actually, if you don't go into the menu, that's one of my other tweaks, is uh, don't go into the menu, go right to a save flight. It seems to help uh, with crashes if it doesn't go into the music intro. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and load up the terrain data here. Okay. Uh, now this is a Curtis Jenny here. You'll notice that it's uh, white. If you uh, let me take the keys off, it's not rendered correctly at all. Uh, the, the aircraft works fine, but you notice it doesn't render the outside at all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select another aircraft. And another add-on aircraft. Uh, let's see. Let's try the De Havilland Comet. Similar problem. If we go to aircraft, select aircraft, and we'll go to uh, Ford Trimotor. Similar problem. Aircraft, select aircraft. Uh, this is one that's going to be a little bit different. Let's see, which one is it? Uh, let's try this guy here, the SR-71. You see it renders in completely. Okay. Uh, this other one I have here, I don't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, I get a bunch of errors for gauges, I think. I'm not sure it's going to load at all. Let's, let's find out. Okay, similar problem. Uh, actually, we're running very slow now. Oh, there we are. Does not render correctly. Okay. So, we're going to select aircraft. And let's try... Uh, now, some do. Now, if I go to... The, let's try the Stealth. Stealth looks great. You know, it's a lot less, more, less complex than the SR was. And that's a question of uh, why it loads so much faster. Joint Strike Fighter works. It looks fine. Let's uh, let's take a look around. Okay, let's go one more aircraft. Let's select aircraft. Let's try a couple. Let's try a couple more. Same problem. Select aircraft. Same aircraft. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and get all of the ones I have currently loaded up. And the Wright Brothers Flyer. Wright Brothers Flyer is fine. Okay. So now that we're going to do something else, we're going to go over here to Options, Settings, Display. And we're going to take this Preview Direct X10. We're going to turn it off and say OK. And it says it requires restart, of course. So we're going to close down Flight Simulator, say yes. We'll go back over here, give it a few seconds to finish shutting down, load it back up. So, the if we look at the graphics that uh, are there for Flight Simulator, we'll be able to tell whether or not this is actually helping at all. So now DirectX is 10 is turned off now. The airport graphics and all that, I'm sure some of the people that are more into it are more critical of it. But there we are. There is the Curtis. Okay. So let's start loading up some of those same aircraft. Uh, first one was the Jenny. Let's, let's go to the Comet. Boom. Nice. Let's go to select aircraft. Try motor. Boom. Aircraft, select aircraft. Uh, the 117 was fine anyways. Still works. Joint strike fighter was okay. Still works. Uh, let's go back. I skipped over the SR. So, uh, did I do that? Okay, yeah, let's go to the SR. 
the two SRs here are very complex. Okay, let's go around this guy a little bit. And you'll see some of the jagged lines a little bit more here on DirectX 9. Okay, so we'll go here and say select aircraft. We'll select the other uh, one. So basically all about the alpha release. That uh, was a great release uh, for the flight simulator of the SR. And it takes a little bit longer to load up here, but renders perfectly. This is the Ichiban. By the way, Ichiban is... Uh, uh, when I was in Okinawa with the SR-71 program, uh, that's uh, exactly uh, the name of, of the, we called the aircraft, or the Ichiban was the program name, unofficially, of course. Uh, so uh, that's why somebody created this Ichiban version. So anyways, uh, we'll select the aircraft again. So if we continue on with the Ryan, Great aircraft, select aircraft, Vickers. So it's really a DirectX incompatibility with older models or older models incompatibility with DirectX. Some of them, because somebody, you know, these are done. These are, these are not reinvented and everything. So if you're comfortable with DirectX 9, you just want to enjoy your flight and everything, uh, I would uh, consider turning off DirectX uh, 10 preview for those particular aircraft and turning it on for the ones that are compatible. So, so there you have it. Turning off DirectX 10 and using DirectX 9 uh, will give you maybe a few more aircraft that you can work with. It's really up to your pre your preference. Uh, I would suggest uh, going through a test and also looking out for newer aircraft that are updated that may have been uh, fixed and used for uh, or updated for use with DirectX 10 uh, will probably uh, save some of your problems. In the meantime, just uh, Go find an aircraft that's uh, unusual for you to use or that works with DirectX uh, 9 that you can't use with DirectX 10. And uh, have fun getting going. And But as you can see, the aircraft works fine. Flies great, looks great. But again, if you're into the mechanics of the flight, uh, turn you know, you want to just do a long, uh, detailed flight, uh, I would uh, I would do that. I would go ahead and turn off uh, DirectX uh, 10 preview, and I would uh, go ahead and try out your favorite aircraft with that. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.